Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Gookill here back again with another edition of G Talk, where this time we're talking about something that I think is going to be a major problem for Diablo going forward in Season 5, and that is this new Ken Ice Cube recipe that allows you to augment gem power onto your ancient items. So I'm showing you guys the recipe for it here. As you can see, you need an ancient item, a legendary gem, and then for each different type of item, you need at least a certain rank of that gem in order to apply the augmentation onto the ancient item. So why do I think this is going to be a problem? Well, the first major problem here is that it's going to be absolutely necessary for somebody that takes the leaderboards at least somewhat seriously. I'm not talking top 50, but I'm talking at least being on the leaderboards competitively. For those of you that don't know, when you apply a legendary gem onto your gear, Per level that the gem is, it's going to apply plus 5 of your main stat onto that item. So, for example, you saw that gems need to be at least level 30 for you to be able to apply it onto a weapon. That means, at minimum, you would have, I believe I'm doing my math correctly here, it would be plus... It'd be plus 150 dexterity onto your weapon. So as you can start to put the pieces of that together, obviously level 30 is a very low rank gem. We are going to be able, with this new season and how much character power has increased, to be able to get gems easily into the 80 to 100 range just solely off of the power curve right now characters are just much much more powerful than they were in last season as the game tends to trend so you're looking at going through the process of not only grinding up the legendary gems that you need for your character to be socketed so let's say for example we're focusing on on hallowed essence demon hunter you need to get your bane of the trapped you need to get your zay stone of vengeance you need to get your bane of the stricken or your whatever it is that you want to use right not only do you need to run the group content in order to be able to get that high you also need to be able to grind up legendary gems for every single piece of gear so th this is ridiculous only in the sense that i appreciate the fact that blizzard did try to go out of their way to create a system that could further enhance your character and also keep you being able to grind out gems and gem leveling. You're not going to hit a point where you just hit, okay, I'm done leveling my gems. I feel like there's nothing more I can really do with that. However, that is just for one character. And one thing that Diablo actually, I thought, in Season 4, they did a great job of, is the fact that you are able to play multiple characters with multiple different gear sets and yes, you know, you may have to level an extra legendary gem or two here, but that's fine. I mean, you've seen, I mean, Quinn, for example, has multiple characters in the, the top 10 for different classes. And he's able to do that because of the fact there's flexibility in your legendary gems and that you can transfer them between characters and you can push greater risks that way. Now consider for a minute the fact that everybody that's in those top spots will have grinded out legendary gems on every single piece of gear it is so discouraging to go through the process of of thinking for a second that okay great i've gotten my one character done after running two three four hundred greater rifts of running content on that one character well time to start it all over again diablo has addressed the fact that botting has been a problem in their game as fans, we know that botting is a problem in the game. A system like this, it's just the way that it's executed that is the problem. And it's only going to encourage people to, again, want to look to bots in order to be able to possibly compete on numerous classes because the time investment is just so deep now. And, you know, if I could make comparisons to, to different games... You know, imagine there is a system in a game like World of Warcraft. Imagine that you were doing your arena, your competitive part of the game, which, I mean, let's face it, leaderboards, no, they're not player versus player, but they are the only competitive aspect to 
Diablo 3. Now, let's say in a game like that, you were told, oh, you know what? If you keep on playing the game just for 15, 16, 17 hours a day and you kept grinding and grinding and grinding, you would end up having a character that is so significantly more powerful than anybody else who hasn't put in that time. Let's face it, it would discourage a lot of people from playing that game. And it would happen for any system of competition. People want to be put on an even playing field and want the time invested into the game to be more related to skill than it is to be related to gear. And I understand that Diablo is based heavily on gear, but the more and more things that get added to the game is just the more and more grind that gets added to the game. And that's really discouraging because people find Diablo fun, but they just don't find it fun in the way that they go, yeah, you know what, I want to play this game for months and months on end. We know that seasons now are going to be three months, but I just can't possibly see anybody who's picking up Diablo to want to be like, yeah, you know what, I, I played it for a week or two, and what's my incentive to play after that? Oh, I just need to do more rifts, and I need to do more gem grinding just to get my character that extra bit more powerful. So, I mean, that's the negative point of view on it. I just think that it's a it's a good idea that's just poorly executed and is just going to do nothing but create more problems with people botting, create more problems with the leaderboards as now there's going to be a greater parity. I mean, let's face it, we already have the problems with parity regarding Paragon levels and the fact that since there's no cap on Paragon levels, you know, it's the person that ends up getting the most Paragon levels that's going to be significantly more powerful based alone on their primary stats. Now you're going to add on this extra thing onto it, which is now the gem augmentation, where now somebody who has level 100 gems augmented onto all their pieces of gear is going to be at such a significant power advantage. I mean, we're talking plus 500 of a main stat on every single piece of gear. It's absurd, and there's going to be a huge amount of people that can't compete with that. They're not even going to bother to try, and that, again, takes away from, I think, the replayability of Diablo as each season goes forward. If they keep on adding things, they're just going to make it about grind, 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 grind. Do I have the solutions for that? No. I do think the positive about it is that, again, it's an extra wrinkle that's added to the game, which is going to give you that extra thing to do when maybe you get to a point where you're just you're done with greater rifts in general. Hey, here's a way to make your character more powerful. And I think that was the idea that, that happened to it. But for people who play Diablo and take it seriously, which is really the, the core fan base of the game or the people that play it, the people that take it seriously, um, I, I think that this is a bad system in execution, and I don't think Blizzard should be surprised to hear early on in Season 5, again, the problems with botting and the cries for people to want Blizzard to react and do something about people who are botting, and I, I think that inevitably they're going to have to respond in a way where they're going to either have to put caps on things and I've been crying out for caps for a long time in Diablo, but I understand the arguments for and against it. So that could be saved for a different discussion. This is primarily just based on the augmentation. But again, to summarize my thoughts, I basically think that it's a great system that's poorly executed. That's only going to encourage people to use bots. And it's actually going to discourage people from trying to get on the leaderboards with, forget even more than one character class more than one spec i mean and the example here i'm going to use is with demon hunters right now demon hunters have five different sets that are very very competitive with each other i mean every set in the game is is within a couple greater rifts of each other why why would you spend the time to grind out every single augmentation for every single item on each different spec you need to do that four or five times on the same character is nuts and then to ask people to do it again for other classes is just insane maybe the idea from blizzard is that we're just going to give you so much to do that you're never going to be able to accomplish it in three months and then therefore it's going to focus you towards having to pick a main character and a main class sure i get it but i don't think that that is the main appeal of diablo and i think that a big part of what's made diablo fun is the ability to hop in between different classes gain power with those different classes and then be able to have different types of gameplay 
based on that instead of just trying to funnel you into focusing on one character. But those are my thoughts. As usual, guys, if you agree, you disagree, you like, don't like, leave your comments below. Let's open up the discussion. I'd love to hear people's thoughts on this. Um, I don't really have a lot of opinions from a lot of people that are on my friends list. To be honest, I don't have a lot of people playing the PTR really paying attention to Diablo right now. But that being said, you guys are free to hit me up on the comment section, on Twitter, on you know Reddit, whatever it is, whatever way you guys can make contact with me. Give me your thoughts. I'd love to have a more open discussion about this. And maybe you guys have some ideas about gem augmentation that really rationalize the meaning and, and how it's really, really positive for the game. And then you can hit that back at me and then maybe you'll open my mind a little bit. But for right now, my final thoughts, great idea, badly executed. If you liked the video, guys, make sure you hit the like button. If you like videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button because that would make sense. And again, I'll chat with you guys soon. Thank you.